I'm not sure he's going to be up for all the fuss. Exactly. That's why it'll be so funny. Is this his birthday or yours? Well, you know what Ronnie's like. He'll soak and mourn and say he hates it until he's had a few drinks and then he'll love it. But before that point, I get to enjoy watching him suffer. <laughs> you two have a very strange relationship. Oh, well, how to do, Ron, Ron, Ron? How are you diddling? Oh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm diddling OK, actually. Yeah. Seriously? A surprise party? Oh, what? How could you possibly? I, I, you left I... your laptop open on a website for happy birthday balloons. That could be for anyone, that. Oh, happy 55th birthday balloons. Oh, you totally spoiled her fun. Uh, Revelling in my humiliation, more like. There wasn't just going to be humiliation. There was going to be cake and all. In fact, I was just about to nip into town to that wonderful bakery you like. Oh, you mean that place that does the cronuts? That's the one, but, well, I don't need to bother now, do I? Oh, oh no, 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 yes, you have to bother. Uh, look, if uh, you can um, yeah, wait it's half an hour, I'll uh, take you there myself. Why, well, thank you. What was I thinking of? A surprise party. This is much easier. Mm. I'll be at our Kev's. Mm. Ah. Sit down, Red. Ta-ra. What a woman, eh? What a woman. Hiya. Hi. Can I have a word? Is everything OK? Yeah, just uh, hoping you can help me with some initial inquiries. Initial inquiries? <laughs> Do we have to go down to the uh, station or what? To be honest, I'm gasping for a nice cup of coffee. Can we do it in here? Yeah. And you was at the flat all night? Yeah. You didn't leave? No. But like I said, Debbie was out all night. I had some food, watched some telly, went to bed. Right, OK. That's everything. So did he pass, or uh, did he crack and confess to everything? Yeah, he didn't stand a chance. I always go ultra bad cop when I'm drinking frothy coffee. Oh, Elodie's birthday. It's your birthday? Oh, it's your birthday. You really don't have to go around telling everybody. You should have said. I'd have given you extra sprinkles. Many happy returns. Do you know what time Dee Dee and Michael leave for work today? Oh, well, if you hurry, you might catch them at hours. Dee Dee came round for breakfast. Right, you are. I told them we were in the house all night. And will they back you up? Well, they were asleep when we left. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Well, you need to contact me. Dee Dee's got my card. Yeah, well, I might be asking you to talk to Carl if she has a dog with being late. So? My whole family suspects now, then. You're going to speak to me, Mum, heading on to Lewisham to talk to our James. Told you, none of you are suspects. And I already told you when we spoke on Monday. Dad, Michael and I were all here together that night. Hey, Dee Dee, honestly, it's just due diligence. <laughs> Enjoy your party. Ta. What are you saying ta to him for? It was being nice. What? And that was a reflex. What, look, why are you being so snippy? You're allowed to ask questions. Oh, really? Well, thank you for that. I had no idea. Oh, uh, look, did it, I, I get it, OK? Whatever you thought about Joel, whatever I thought about Joel, you, you're allowed to grieve someone you might have, um, you know, mixed feelings about. Are you finished? Because I thought you were late for work. D. Look, I just had a bad night's sleep, OK? Sorry. But it had nothing to do with him. <laughs> Right, well, OK, just make sure you cheer up before the party this afternoon. Parties are for fun. Ugh. All right, not for snippiness. I've just rang them. They're having a run on them bigger cakes, so we need to get going. Uncle Ronnie. Hi, Dee Dee. Right, I've got your keys. I'll put the address in the sat now. What did you tell DC Green? Oh, you just wanted to know where I was on the night Joel disappeared. Unlike your dad, I didn't have an alibi. Was Where's Noble Street? Sorry? Where the field? Noble Street, number 47. Oh, it says here it's the last place he went to. Um, that's... That's uh... Joel's flat. Oh, hi. And why are we at Joel's flat?
that was from uh, ages ago when me and Michael helped him move out. No, it's showing it's your last address. I usually use my phone, don't I? I mean, I hardly use that anymore. I mean, flipping heck. First the coppers interrogate me over my breaking. Now you're giving me the third degree over my sat-nav use. I mean, you, you care to uh, chip in here, Dee Dee? Yes, all right, all right. <laughs> what? Hey, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon a party will do us all a bit of good, though. So you better get going whilst there's still some cakes left. <laughs> Spot on. Yeah. Right, come on, you. Get in. What's the tissues? <laughs> When he's inbound, give me a shout and I'll get these open. No, don't worry, I'll take them from you, sorry. Okay. Thank you. So he just wanted to know uh, where we all were that night. Oh, yeah, oh, well, I said we were in all that. Hey, are we ready? Is he here? Ready? Surprise! Whoa, what are you lot doing here? The man is literally walking in, carrying his own birthday cake. You can't be less surprised. Yeah, she's been trying to get me. Always gives herself away. <laughs> you want to work on your poker face? Hey, if I hadn't left my laptop open, I'd have had you good and proper. Mm, thank you. Thank you, everyone. And, uh, this is a big cake, or are you going to... Oh! Woo! Hey, on it. Good lad. Good speech. Hey, phone's away. All right, Dad. All right, Snippy. Here, let me give you a hand. <laughs> I think the police intervention has made people a bit tense. Mm, yeah, not the best timing. Could you find the cake, though? Oh, it's really runny creamy. <laughs> Ronnie was having cats, kittens, every time we went round a corner. <laughs> you know what he's like with his upholstery. Mm. I can't believe he let Joel put his stuff in there. I mean, it's not like he's got masses of boot space. Hang on, Joel. Yeah. When you two were helping Joel move out of his flat. Oh, yeah, no, that was my car. Your car? Yeah, the chest of drawers went in my car. Can you imagine it fitting in Uncle Ronnie's? <laughs> no, I can't, actually. Yeah, well, that makes more sense then. <laughs> right. So, you two, don't think I haven't seen the looks. What looks? Between you both, A, D, D, and he has the temerity to question my poker face. Temerity? Michael told me he went in his car to Joel's flat. So why is that address in your sat-nav? Listen, I don't think this is the time to talk about it. No, oh, she's right. We need to talk about this. No, we don't. Ed, they're going to keep on pestering me until I do. So, anyway, here goes. Uh, speech. Oh. Speech. Oh. To the love of my life. Ah. Oh. No. <laughs> I am truly sorry you've had the misfortune to get involved with an absolute rotter like me. You might not have pulled off a surprise party. Uh, I was surprised. But you surprise me every day by sticking with me, despite my grumpiness and uh, the surprises I throw your way. So, um, thank you. And thank you all for coming. Right, I'm buying. Uh, who's for more champagne? Oh, uh, no second for me, please. All right. Well, you turn away, everything, all right? Give me a hand. He's not here. This was a stupid idea. We can't give up now. We need to find him. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We're not letting him get away with this. Dad, you went to see him that night, didn't you, both of you? You've got to believe me. We didn't lay a finger on him. But, yeah, we were there that night. We were going to drag him down to the cop shop. But when we got there, he didn't answer, so we broke in. You broke in? We brought a crowbar. Then what did you do? We went home. That's it. We went home with our tails between our legs. Swore each other to secrecy. Yeah, again, I know. Hey, uh, do you want me to bring those over? No, we're fine, thanks, Nick. Exactly. And that's it. After that, you called it off and came on. That's it. <gasps> what, you, you don't believe me? Would you blame me? 
You've lied to me this long. I understand why you didn't tell the police. I mean, the whole thing is, is beyond stupid. It's, it's macho nonsense, but I get that. Yeah. What I don't get is why you didn't tell me straight away. We're together, remember? We're meant to sort stuff out like this together. I know. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Come on, then. Shout at me. I was half expecting you to force us to go to the police. I can't force you to do anything, Dad. Hey, you're no, no. very quiet. Um, yeah, sorry, I've got a bit of a headache, so I might head home, actually. Hey, hey, don't go, look. Look, we're really sorry, we're stupid. We, we should have told you before. Yeah. Yeah, and we told you everything, all right? There's nothing else if that's what you're worried about. Me and Ronnie went back two hours with our tails between our legs, and then uh, Ronnie went home. Ain't that right, man? Yeah, of course. Why do you ask me like that for? What do you mean? Right, Ron. You know I did, I told you. Well, I know, but I was just making you say it to confirm for Dee Dee. Why do I need to confirm? Flippin' heck. You, no, go on. You, you don't believe me. Yeah, of course I believe you. Look, it's fine, guys. Do you want to try that again? Look, can you blame me? I mean, you were really het up. We both were, and we both called it off. What, you, you think I, I went back there, yeah, finished off the job? Oh, my days, of course not. Everything all right, lads? Yeah, everything's uh, fine, mate. Actually, I was just saying, I've got a bit of a headache, so I think I'm going to skip the pub. What? I've got some paracetamol, if you want. I'm OK, sir. Sorry, everyone. No, that's too much, look. Oh, it's fine. I'll put it towards the tip. Now see what you've done. It's been a tough few days. I'll check in on that later. <laughs> 